Google Search Console Mobile Usability Issues Regarding Touch Elements to Close. And I'm going to show you how to fix it. When you log into your Search Console, press on Mobile Usability, Touch Elements to Close. Now, what does this mean? We can press on it to see which pages Google is aware of as far as touch elements being too close to one another. So let's imagine this is the website that Google is having issues with. I'm using Chrome browser so I can press on F12 on my keyboard to reveal the developer toolbar. If you're using Internet Explorer as your favorite browser, Internet Explorer has the developer toolbar as well. So at this moment, the web page is rendered in full width, right? So I can press on this arrow icon here. And then if I was to minimize the page and see it along these lines. So that means if someone uses their mobile device to view this page, viewport too close means that the, the particularly nav menu elements, they are too close to one another. So that means any touch elements for navigation on a mobile device is too close to one another. That's what that is all about, okay? So how can you fix it? Well, what you can do is you can make sure that they are not too close to one another. So how we can fix that is using the developer toolbar, we can press on this icon here because we need to modify the CSS so that there are enough paddings between touch elements. In this example, my nav menus are touch elements. So let's grab the arrow icon and hover over the menu link here as viewed in a different viewport. Let me show you the mobile view as well so that it actually makes more sense to you. So that means, let's say iPhone 5. When someone comes to view this page, this is how it will look if they were using iPhone 5. If they were using, let's say, iPad, this is how it's going to look for them. So now you can press on this menu link, the same thing we're doing. Expand it so it makes more sense. So we can press on it and see now we can on the right hand side start testing how to expand the touch elements we can say padding padding top let's give it a value of one ram one ram in this example it's relative to the body font size Let's also say padding bottom one ram for that as well. So now the, the paddings are moved up and down. Let me reveal the fact to you by giving a larger width. As you can see, each time I do that, it moves down. So now they are not too close to one another, but surely six ram is like 60 or 70 pixels so that's very large and you wouldn't want your users to see your menus having that much of a gap so instead settle with an appropriate value for your CSS okay so it's to do with padding so make them move it can also be margins so you can add margin top Let's give it a value as an example, 3M or 3REM. You can see each time I do that, same thing happens. Margin, let's say 
bottom, 3 RAM. So now you can see. So at this minute, once you start exploring the CSS styles for your touch elements, all you now have to do is say, okay, this is a ID site navigation. So you can copy that. Go to your style.css. So that means locate that file. Press on it. So this is the the style.css so now let me just place that was an ID so we need to put that hashtag in front site navigation element was the nav in there was a UL element here we can see it's the the navigation is wrapped within UL and there is also a list element that means I can say okay let me now put that padding top and bottom in that list element to demonstrate the point let me say 3 rem let me also say padding bottom 3 rem as well remember rem values is to do with body definitions let me show you what that means so it'll make more sense so let's say let's find the body element find all in this document body declarations are coming from this so I'm looking at my local copy but it's the same thing so if my body elements have font size 16 Anytime I define RAM values, it's relative to that. So that means it's relative to the body 16 pixel. And if I was to times 3 by 16, it'll be 48 pixels, as you will see. So now, my nav menu that has UL and list elements has these CSS declarations in my CSS file. Let me update that file and refresh this and you will see the changes reflect here. Let me refresh. You will see each list elements will have different headings now. As you can see. But surely I wouldn't want that because that's too much of a wide gap. I just wanted to demonstrate the point to you. So one RAM should be good enough to avoid those mobile usability issues in Search Console. So at the end of the day, fixing the touch element to close is to do with you identifying which elements Google is saying that it's too close. And you can use the web developer toolbar to quickly identify where those touch elements are. Usually it's to do with your menu linking structure. I thank you very much for learning with me. If you benefited from this video session, please give me a like and share this video and I'll talk with you in the next video session.